Hello my quilting friends! My name is Leah Day and welcome to this free motion quilting tutorial for Fiery Comet Flower. So this design starts with a circle of circles and I did mark a circle in the center just so that way I would form a nice circular shape. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to see how many times I can use the word circle at the beginning. Uh, all right, so I used a Fonz and Porter ceramic marking pencil to mark my circle in the center. And you can find the marking pens that I like best at leahday.com slash mark. Uh, some marking pens are not, they're not all created equal. Let's just put it that way. And I have been burned before, so I'm very, very careful about what I use and recommend. So that's the very first step is to mark your center circle and then to stitch a nice even ring of circles around it. And I'm just eyeballing this, filling these in, and then travel stitching around to where I can fill in this last one. And the nice thing is once you get to the last one, then you can clearly see, okay, it's gotta fill in that entire space. There we go, that looks great. Okay, I've decided to leave the center empty and blank here, and we're gonna turn all of these circles into fiery comments. And this is another design within the Free Mission Quilting Project. You can just do a Google search for Leah Day Fiery Comment to watch that other video. It's fairly old, <laughs> but it's still definitely a great tutorial. So you can see how to stitch this by itself. So I had a little bit of a thread break and I took a break there. So now we're gonna get back to it. And this is basically a ring of fiery comets. It's another design that I've stitched for the Free Motion Quilting Project. And basically it starts out with a circle shape and then you branch out with this big kind of flame shape. So you branch out, come back, and then you fill in that space with internal echoes. So that's just an echo to the inside of the flame shape. Swirl in, swirl out back and forth. Now watch out, I have done some travel stitching along the outside of these circles, which means that there's a lot of thread building up. And whenever you hear this kind of pocking noise with your needle, kind of hit it a few times slowly, you just want to go like this. I'm tapping my foot pedal and I can needle up, needle down with each foot pedal tap. And that's really helpful for stuff like this because when you start to build up your thread too much, you could definitely get a thread break. So watch out for that. So again, swirl out with my flame shape, swing inside with my internal echoes, and you can see just how cute this is going to be. Now this is very, very similar to another design called Earth Flower, only the difference is I'm actually gonna go into the background here and I'm gonna continue to fill in this space. So I would continue to go all the way around the entire, all of the circles and fill in with my fiery comments first. But right here, I'm gonna go in ahead and escape and come down here, travel stitch over, and now I'm gonna fill in this background with just more echoes. Just travel stitching along the edge of my quilting space, then stitching inside and just echoing that. I overshot right there and accidentally hit my line of quilting because I couldn't really see what I was doing. And whenever you can't see, you can't quilt very well. So just rotate your quilting sandwich around so that way you can see what you're doing clearly. There we go. And you can see just how beautiful that texture is gonna look. It's gonna fill up your quilt with this really beautiful free flowing design. Find many more free motion quilting videos at leahday.com slash FMQ.